In this video, we will demonstrate how to import personal POI categories into the poi based system and how to create empty categories and add POIs to them via the interactive map. After starting the poi based PC application or the web version if you're using that, first go to Load POIs and Speed Cams and then to My Private POIs. Then, Import My POIs. The basic version of POI base is free and in the free version a maximum of five categories can be imported and each category can contain a maximum of up to 5,000 POIs. If you require more categories or want to import a greater number of POIs per category, we offer the option of POI Import Plus to buy more storage space via this Buy More POI Storage Space button. This includes the possibility to import 30 POI categories instead of 5 and 30,000 POIs per category instead of 5,000. It also includes the so-called geocoder which means that address lists which do not have coordinates can be imported. PoiBase generates the coordinates automatically to create the POI list. To demonstrate this, POI Import Plus is now activated on this account. So 30 categories can be imported and each category can contain up to 30,000 POIs. It's also possible to import address lists. To create a new POI category, use the button Add POI Category. First, you need to enter a name. Here, you can also choose to make the POIs publicly available to all other users, which you should only do if you also have the right to do so. For instance, if you created the POI file yourself or obtained it from a source that allows free access. Every POI category also requires a picture. The required dimensions are at 22 times 22 pixels or 44 times 44 pixels. Bigger or smaller pictures can be used as they will be resized automatically. You should try to stick to images that are properly square, otherwise they will get warped, which looks bad. For this file I will use this PNG, but you can use BMP, GIF or JPG as well. The minimum is 22 times 22 but if you want a better resolution version for smartphones for instance, you should also pick 44 times 44 in addition, we have these two special options for Audi and Volkswagen, but you only really need to bother with these if you intend to use one of them. The images can also be transparent. Audi and Volkswagen both are restricted to PNG. At this point, you can select the file to import, which is a CSV file in this case. POI files in GPX, KML or CSV format are available free from many websites. You might need to make alterations to this field if your POI file is formatted differently. For example, if the elements are separated by semicolons instead of commas. Click on Add POI Category. A pop-up now informs you that the POI category has been added successfully, that the number of POIs your file contains has been detected, and that you should wait for the system to process the request. The hourglass lets you know that the category is being processed, which may take a few minutes. Clicking on Import My POIs refreshes the page and shows the current status of your request. Now you will see that the category has been imported successfully. You will also see the number of POIs, the name, the icon, and you can activate various functions. The rubbish bin represents delete and the pencil edit. Via Edit, you can change the name, the icon, and the status, as in whether you want the POIs to be private or public. The Looking Glass allows you to display the icons on the map directly. As it's a private category, you can now make use of all the POI editing functions, such as altering the details, changing the name, deleting individual ones, and so on. Next, we'll see how to create an empty POI category. Go to Add POI Category and enter a name. I'll use Empty. Pick an icon. I'll use this one. Then go to Add POI Category without selecting a file. The category is created instantly without any POIs as it's empty. You can now access the map via the looking glass. Make sure the country filter is off as there are no POIs in this category. So if you select it, the empty category will not appear under My Private POIs. You can select and deselect the category here. Move the map around by holding the left mouse button down and dragging the map around. Or enter a place name at the top. I typed in Swansea, 
So we have to drag the map a bit as it centers on your actual location. Select your category on the left and click on the map. You will see a red cross. I've just chosen a random place. Select Add Poi on the right. Enter the name. I'll pretend this is my cousin. You can then enter various details such as description, address, opening times, telephone number, email address, website, Facebook page and so on. Click OK to save. The new POI will appear immediately. Click on it to see the details that were entered and the address generated by the program. You can also see the details on the right. Further POIs can now be added in the same way, and existing POIs can be edited, deleted or moved. Edit POI direction is for speed cameras, and a change POI category lets you reallocate a POI to a different category. Returning to the POI import, you will see the category along with the fact that it contains one point of interest. You can change the name via the pencil icon, for instance to family. Hence, you can edit each POI individually and the actual category to keep everything up to date and to fine tune your details. Finally, we'll see how to import address lists if one has upgraded to POI Import Plus. This allows you to upload address lists that do not have coordinates, and PoiBase will geocode them for you. First, again, enter a name. Select an icon. Select a file. We'll open this one, and as you can see, it's a basic CSV file with the various sections of the addresses separated by commas. I've entered two German addresses and one UK one. You will have to make sure that the addresses are all formatted in the same way, which might be counterintuitive if you are using international addresses, as they may normally be written in a different order. In this case, you will have to stick to a set sequence of address elements so that the program can make use of the data. In this case, we have name, street, house number, postal code, and then town city with each entry occupying one row. Here you will have to set how your document was formatted. First, we select a comma as the column separator. That's what was used in the file. It could also be a semicolon, for instance. In the first column, we select short description, as it's not the X coordinate in this case. Then street, house number, postal code, town, exactly how it is in the document. You could also add the country, but we haven't done that here. Now click on Add POI Category. Once the process is complete, a pop-up will announce that three POIs were imported. The number will depend upon how many POIs were in your file. We had three. You will also see an annotation letting you know that it's a geocoded file. Use the looking glass to display the poise on the map. I'll have to scroll out a bit because I put two poise in Germany and one in the United Kingdom. As you can see, they're displayed here on the map. You can use the buttons on the right to edit or delete your poise as usual. To transfer these poise to a sat nav, click on Home, Load Poise and Speed Cams, My Private Poise. Click on Manage My POIs, then on Back. The list of imported data will be displayed here. Use Add to allocate them to the POIs you wish to download. If you go to My Selected POIs, you will see the POIs you selected for download before, if any, as well as your own POIs. Use the Download button to transfer the POIs to your sat nav, your SD card, your USB stick whatever is relevant to your system. The POIs can also be accessed via the POIBase Android application where they can be displayed on the map and selected as a destination. We hope this video has helped explain how to import your own POIs via POIBase and if you have any further questions please feel free to contact our support.